Good morning and welcome. Today is Thursday, July 15th, 2021. And let me start off by saying thank you to all of those who have joined us on this call. This is today's information session for 25 Amory. My name is Kristen Pine and I am the new business director of affordable housing for Peabody Properties. Welcome. I'm also joined today by Tammy Polson, who is our vice president of compliance. She will be ready to jump in and answer any questions with me as needed by our audience today. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules to join us in our presentation of this exciting new housing opportunity. Please note, this presentation is being recorded and the recording will be housed on our website later on this week, should you wish to view it again. Since this presentation is being recorded, I've taken the liberty of muting all callers in an effort to minimize background noise for the purposes of the recording. Questions will be addressed at the end of the presentation. If you have questions, please use the chat feature within Zoom. Now let's get started. In the spirit of social distancing, to detour the spread of COVID-19, this information session is being provided in lieu of the typical presentation with several participants in a public forum. If after viewing this presentation, you have any questions, we encourage you to communicate with us via phone or email. Thank you. As aligned with the mission of the local nonprofit developer, Jamaica Plain Neighborhood Development Corporation, also known as JPNBC, 25 Amory is a shining example of how quality, affordable housing can transform the lives and amplify voices of Boston's residents who have been excluded from prosperity by an inequitable economic system. JPNDC develops affordable housing that allows people to thrive, provide services that help people build on their strengths, and organize people to pursue the changes they desire. Part of a multi-phase transformation of land left vacant five decades ago when homes and businesses were bulldozed for a proposed highway, 25 Amory is a blueprint of housing excellence developed by JPNDC. 25 Amory is an energy efficient development as well as a transit oriented development across Center Street from the Jackson Square T station in Jamaica Plain on the Orange Line. 25 Amory is comprised of 44 units of high quality rental housing designed for households who income qualify. This community will have five units specifically designated with a homeless preference as there are three two bedroom units and two three bedroom units, all of which have rental assistance. 25 Amory has 15 one bedrooms, 23 two bedrooms, and six three bedroom units. The anticipated start date of occupancy is slated for late December 2021 or around early January of 2022. However, due to COVID-19, the construction schedule could be impacted and this date may need to be adjusted. 25 Amory will offer five mobility units, two of which are one bedroom, one bath units, two that are two bedroom, one bath units, and one three bedroom, two bath unit. There will also be one sensory or hearing unit, which is a three bedroom, two bath unit. Out of the 44 total units, 14 units will be just restricted to those earning 30% or less of the area median income, also known as AMI, and three units for those earning 50% or less of AMI, as well as 27 units will be restricted for those households earning 60% or less of area median income. Some community highlights about 25 Amory. 25 Amory boasts open and airy living spaces, as well as having fully equipped kitchens, access controlled entry, high-speed internet and cable-ready units, 
bike storage, and resident parking. Smoke-free community, a laundry care suite, vibrant community spaces, as well as being close to public transportation, major highways, shopping, dining, and entertainment. 25 Amory is professionally managed by Peabody Properties and has on-site management with 24-hour on-call emergency maintenance. No, all households must income qualify within all low-income housing tax credit guidelines and all other regulatory requirements to meet program compliance. The income limits effective as of April 1st, 2021 for 25 Amory are as follows on this slide. Moving on, rental rates and minimum income requirements. 25 Amory is a mixed income property where income limits do dictate how we restrict our rents. Please take a careful look at this slide. All of this information is also housed on our website. Moving on. Minimum incomes apply, but do not apply to households with housing assistance, such as Mobile Section 8, MRVP, or VASH, or for the units in the development that include a project-based housing assistance voucher. Selection by lottery is done, as well as income asset use and occupancy restrictions apply for this development. Preferences do apply. For more information on all of this, as well as any assistance with language, or if you require reasonable accommodations of any kind, please give our office a call at 781-917-6348 or email us directly. The application process. Applications will be distributed through the dates of June 28th, 2021, and must be postmarked by August 9th, 2021, in order to be eligible for the lottery. Applications received after this date will be accepted, but will be placed on a post-lottery waiting list. Applications are available via the following, on our website, via email request, or call us at 781-917-6348 to request an application. Please note, submission of duplicate applications will result in disqualification from the lottery. So please do not send an electronic copy followed by then faxing a paper copy or mailing us a paper copy through the mail. Other important information, all applications need to be fully completed. Do not leave anything blank. All household members must be listed. This includes all children and infants and any anticipated additions to the household, such as adoptions, pregnancies, et cetera. All income and assets need to be reported for all household members. All adult household members, meaning those over the age of 18, must sign the application as well as any and all consent and verification forms. Incomplete applications will not be eligible for consideration for the lottery. Please ensure all questions are answered completely. Again, do not leave any questions blank. If you are uncertain as to how to answer a question, please call our office for guidance. A letter or email will be sent out regarding your application eligibility status. 
if for any reason your application is deemed ineligible, you will have an opportunity to appeal. The lottery will not be conducted until all appeals have been satisfied. Income and assets. What is counted as income? Any income received from any source. Examples include, but are not limited to the following. Social security, retirement funds, pensions, disability income, employment, meaning full-time, part-time, sporadic, and or seasonal employment. If you are self-employed, gift contributions received, such as monetary gifts or gifts in kind, and any income from assets. So what is counted as an asset? Assets include, but are not limited to the following, checking accounts, savings accounts, express debit cards, money market accounts, cash on hand, retirement accounts, equity in real estate, stocks, bonds, treasury bills, and certificates of deposits, also known as CDs. Although your income and assets do not need to be calculated to the penny, it will determine if you are eligible for the lottery based on program requirements. So it is important to try and be as close as possible to the actual numbers and to include everything. If in doubt, please call our office for clarification. As previously mentioned, all lottery applications are carefully checked for duplicates. We search via name, address, phone number, and email address. If it is determined that a duplicate application was submitted to try and increase one's odds of receiving multiple lottery numbers, your applications will be immediately removed from consideration. Should you need to make a change to your application, please contact our office and we will update the application accordingly on your behalf. Once all applications have been reviewed and all appeals have been settled, the lottery will then be scheduled with the city of Boston. All applicants will be notified of their application number along with the date of the lottery. Due to COVID-19, this lottery will be conducted by the city of Boston via a recorded presentation that will be shared with all eligible lottery applicants. On the day of the lottery, a random sorting of application numbers will be performed via random.com, which is an online process done by the city of Boston. After completion, the spreadsheet with the corresponding lottery and application numbers is then sorted according to any preferences by the city of Boston. Every applicant entered into the lottery will receive an email or mailed letter with the link to the lottery presentation along with their lottery number. Within 15 days of the lottery, applicants will be contacted and asked to provide social security numbers and dates of birth for all adult household members, along with signatures, so that credit and criminal background screenings can be performed. Failure to provide this information within the required timeline will result in withdrawal from the process. Upon receipt of this information, and once the screening has been run, you will be contacted for an interview. If the household does not pass screening, you will be given an opportunity to appeal. Units will not be offered to anyone who is after you in the lottery sort until the appeal process has been completed. The interview. You will be asked to provide specific documentation at the time of your scheduled interview. A list of these documents will be sent to you along with confirmation of your interview date, time, and location. 
This list is also made available on our website at the following address. If you are unable to attend your interview, please call the leasing office within 24 hours in advance of your scheduled appointment so as to make arrangements for an alternate date and time. Please note, a no-show to your appointment is an automatic withdrawal from the process with the exception of a medical emergency. Due to COVID-19, most interviews will be conducted via a phone interview and the same rules will apply. If the interview is conducted via phone call, a full Peabody Properties application will be emailed to you in advance for completion and asked for it to be returned prior to the scheduled call. Our office will call you during the scheduled date and time. If you do not answer our call, we will attempt to call one to two more times over the next 15 minutes. If you still do not answer, your status will be considered a no-show and your application will be removed from consideration. Again, the only exception that will be accepted is that of a medical emergency where supporting documentation will be required. Deadlines. Please be cognizant of all deadlines given to you. We are under strict deadlines to qualify applicants for units. So you will be required to provide requested documentation within a reasonable time frame. Failure to cooperate will result in the removal of your application from the lottery waiting list. We will be contacting you via phone and email. So it will be important for you to regularly check your voicemails and your email accounts to ensure that you are responding to all requests within all timelines given. Failure to respond within 24 hours will be cause for your application to be removed from the lottery waiting list. A subsequent email or letter will be sent to inform you of this action. The processing of your file will take anywhere from two to three weeks, depending upon your individual circumstances. Upon completion and approval of your file from Peabody Properties, as well as any third party entities, and if the certificate of occupancy has been issued, a lease signing date will then be scheduled as well as a tour of your unit. Note, in an effort to save on time and resources, lease signings will take place via DocuSign whenever possible. This is also important as to minimize person-to-person -person contact in an effort to safely social distance. Initially, we will be asking you to select your preferred top two unit selections based on floor plans provided. Units will be assigned based on lottery numbers. Once all units have been filled, a notice will go out to all remaining lottery waitlist applicants to advise you that the lease up process has concluded. Important, if you are not contacted for an interview and are not offered a unit during the lease up period, your application will stay on file for the waiting list. Therefore, please ensure that the property always has your current contact information on file in the event a unit becomes available. This concludes today's information session for 25 Amory. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about this exciting new housing opportunity. Should you have any questions regarding the presentation, please feel free to reach out to us at any time at the following web address or via email at 25amory at peabodyproperties.com or give us a call at 781-917-6348. Thank you for your interest in 25amory. I am happy to take any questions at this time.
as there are no questions at this time, I'd like to thank you for your participation in today's 25 Amory information session. Thank you and have a great day.